Welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. And today, do we have something special for you? A 14.9 million rand, four bedroom, four and a half bathroom mansion in Monaghan Farm. This is a secure lifestyle estate that has everything that you need and more. And behind me, we have a Japanese inspired home that comes with more features than a Lamborghini straight off the dealership floor. So guys, stay tuned because you're gonna love every single thing this home has to offer. And here we are within this 14.9 million rand, four bedroom, four and a half bathroom mansion located in Monaghan Farm. Now for those of you who don't know, Monaghan Farm is just a stone's throw away from Lanseria Airport, so close to all the amenities you'd ever need, four ways more, Santon City, you can get there. But while you're here, feels like you're in nature, feels like you're relaxed, feels like you can take your time off and let the stresses of the days go because Monaghan Farm has everything you need. An equestrian center, a bike park with kilometers and kilometers of running trails as well as biking trails, a clubhouse, then it's even got a school. This place is jacked out to the max but it still lets you feel like you're living in nature and I think that's what's so important when it comes to luxury living, that you can feel comfortable and yet still be close to all the amenities you need. But there's so much to talk about here. So first, let's jump a little bit to the left, let's talk and then let's show you what else this home has to offer. As soon as you come through the entrance hall, behind me we've got this cast concrete enclave, cast concrete ceilings, tiles on the floor, so much space, your imagination can run wild with what could go here. Right now it's a kiddies play area, but if you'd like it to be a cigar lounge, done. A sitting area, done. A formal dining room area, done. All the space here lets you do whatever you'd like. And that's what I love about this house and the way it's set up. So many homes don't give you the freedom of expression and this one most certainly does. But we've got inlaid glass windows all the way across this rectangular shaped home. So it lets in so much natural light and air as well as making the home feel so open and spacious. So moving off into the rest of the home, you'll see the space here allows you to put seating areas when you wish. And we're passing a sitting area right now before we move to the stairs. But take a look at this feature wood wall, bringing in those Japanese elements that this home has taken hold of and really made its own. Your guest toilet or half bathroom that is located upstairs is as lavish as the rest of this home. A wall-to-wall -wall mirror makes the space look larger than it really is, with plenty of undercount storage, as well as a beautiful basin and your toilet located to the left-hand side. Now take a look at the stairwell, you've got glass surrounding the stairwell and this glass has been specifically engineered to remove the green out of it, giving you clear and unobstructed access into your downstairs area. But right here, you'll find yourself in your dining room as well as kitchen behind me with living area off to the right hand side. Let's show you that. And here we are within this exceptionally stunning mansion's kitchen and I love the way it's done, so minimalist. But some really cool features, one are the easy plug points that you can reach both on this side as well as on that side of this island as well as cupboard space, both on my side as well as your side of the island. So all your cupboard space is taken care of and right here we have a five top gas burner Siemens as well as three Siemens ovens all behind me. Then we've got a hidden fridge and freezer right over here if we open it up. Listen to that suction. Now, how cool is this? Right here is your extractor and it's built in flush. So if I hold this down, see if I get this right. Look at that. First time your extractor, when you're cooking, raises up from your island. You've got beautiful lighting above it. Right here, you've got your chef's sink. So for all your food prep, it's done right here with a smeg sink. So, Everything's fancy here guys, it's a 14.9 million rand house. All of the finishes have been thought after and all of them are quality. How cool is that? Then to get it to go back down, just press and hold and it sinks right back down. It's got an inbuilt light, so if you are big into entertainment, not only is this house perfect for you, 270 degree views and so many open areas, but if you're into cooking, it's all done and taken care of. Just behind your kitchen, you'll find yourself in your scullery. Now your scullery has a double sink, as well as plenty of under-counter storage, both for any goods you might need to store there, but as well 
for your appliances, so your dishwasher, your washing machine, your tumble dryer, all of that will go there. You've got covered space wall to wall, but what I also really like about it is it has garden access and windows looking out onto the beautiful nature. But here we are, we find ourselves into the lounge. Take a look at the beautiful view of Monaghan Farm behind me. You can sit down here, grab the remote, switch on the TV and you're done. But a lot of light in here as well, which is what I love. The lighting in here has done so well. Not only do we have two sliding doors on my left hand side, but we've also got inbuilt lighting in the ceiling on the right hand side. Feature wall on my right, TV in front of me. I think life is made. But there's still more. There's always more guys, there's always more. Because the upstairs area has got its very own garden and the downstairs area has an even bigger garden. So let's show you the upstairs area, let's show you the downstairs garden and then let's run down those stairs and show you the four bedrooms that are located downstairs, each with its very own in-suite bathroom. So here you find yourself within your upstairs garden. Not many people can say they've got an upstairs garden and what a beautiful garden it is. Views, wraparound views along with this wraparound garden of the whole of Monaghan Farm. Right here, underneath my feet here, this is AstroTurf. So with your upstairs garden, you don't need to worry about watering. Downstairs, you've got your real grass. So if you guys want to get crazy, if you want to play some sports with the kids, you can either do it up here or you can do it downstairs. But there's so much more up here that I need to talk about. One is take a look at the flower beds all along here. Because it's such a nice outdoor feel. So if you want to get your green thumb on, if you want to do a little bit of gardening, you still can do it upstairs and you can do it within those flower beds. Now how beautiful are these stairs and take a look how it is absolutely framed with that clear, clear glass. But here you find yourself in the downstairs area and this downstairs area is where all the bedrooms are located but also here's all the space right here for your very own pyjama lounge, for a whiskey tasting lounge or even for a smoking den. How absolutely incredible is the way this home is designed. Take a look at all the space and it's laid out so nice and easily. Moving down the hallway, as you see all the bedrooms on the left hand side, you'll also notice these bulkhead ceilings with recessed LED lighting creating such a good shadow effect. And now, let me take you to the very first room, right over here. And here we are within the first bedroom located downstairs and you might think downstairs are we underground, no such thing. The lower level still offers you 270 degree views of beautiful, beautiful nature. Now living in this estate, absolutely nothing is going to be ordinary and these bathrooms are nothing of the sort and the bedrooms are even better. I've walked back to show you the scale of the first bedroom we're going to be showing you today and each of these bedrooms, all four of them that are located downstairs come with their very own in-suite bathroom. So we've spoken about the bedroom, there's air conditioning, Beautiful cast concrete ceilings with inlaid LEDs, wooden floors as we've mentioned it already, double pane insulated glass opening up onto your outside areas giving you that nature and beautiful, beautiful fresh air and this place is all about fresh air as well. Now if you move this way you're going to find yourself walking through what could potentially be your own walk-in closet. There's plenty of cupboard space so if you're sitting there in the bedroom saying Chad where are all the cupboards? Well the cupboards are in the hallway as you move into your bedroom but here we are within your own in-suite bathroom. You can see there's plenty of glass, lots of openness, that Japanese theme continuing throughout the house as well as the colour themes. The grey tiles, the matching the cast concrete ceilings. I love the freestanding bathtub and take a look at how much thought and design went into the different faucets. So this bathroom, like all the in-suite bathrooms, has its very own bathtub, walk-in shower, as well as toilet. So for those of you familiar with Japanese architectural styles, this is done in the bento box style and it is all sectioned off with these really cool floor to ceiling sliding doors. So there you have it, the first bedroom, we've just spoken about them, but there are three more bedrooms downstairs and one of those bedrooms is the creme de la creme, the master suite, so I'm sure you guys are very excited to see that. But let's take a look at the second and third bedroom before we go and do that. And the first thing I want to notice, or I want you guys to notice, is take a look at these doors, floor to ceiling doors, they are absolutely massive and just so cool, love them, but there's so much more to love. Come on, let's take a look. 
Now walking into this bedroom, much like the rest, you come through your very own walk-in closet. I love the way it's styled, I love the way it's designed because it gives you so much extra space in these rooms and this room is much the same as the previous one. We've got the cast concrete ceilings, beautiful wood flooring, double glazed glass sliding doors leading out into your garden and then your very own bathroom. But before we go into the bathroom, let's talk about something else really cool. So you can see these curtains here, if you just give them a quick pull, they will automate and start closing. Now how cool is that? You don't ever need to close your own curtains. But let's take a look at that bathroom. Let's go. I've come around and walked into the bathroom with two accesses to the bathroom. It really does feel like it caters for everything. You can come through the hallway, you can come through the bedroom, but when you are here, what an experience. All the taps are Hunsgro Axle models, beautiful glass here. And you can see this glass has actually specially been designed to take away the green tint. So it's just that see-through glass, looks absolutely stunning. I love the walk-in shower, I love the way this bathroom looks. But another thing that I love, that's not something you see very often. That's the light switches here. So come with me, take a look at these light switches. Instead of normal switches, these are done in that Japanese style again. So you've got your dimming, you've got your underfloor heating and all underfloor heating throughout the house is done via water systems, saving you a little bit of money. Although living in a house like this, I don't think money is gonna be one of your worries. So coming out of this bedroom, you'll find yourself approaching your last and then the final bedroom, the main suite. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass these two storage rooms on my right hand side and you can utilize that to keep anything you want out of prying eyes right over there. It's also where it houses your geese and some other electronics, including the generator of this home, which is always beautiful when you've got a generator because there's nothing to worry about. But let's go into this final bedroom before we show you the master suite, the grand prize. The final bedroom again has its own ensuite bathroom, floating bathtub, beautiful Hunsgro taps, as well as that walk-in shower that I've spoken so much about. It's really nice and different to know that each one of your bedrooms has its own bathroom. So when you do have guests, they never need to be running around and utilizing your guest bathroom upstairs. They've got their very own bathroom. It makes it feel so much more comfortable and so much more lively. Walk-in closet, beautiful 270 degree views of the grounds of Monaghan Farm. You really do feel like you're living in nature, even though you're so close to the city when you need it. Where's this cameraman? Where's he gone? Hey, there you there. Come on, let's show you exactly what a master suite in a 14.9 million rand home within Monaghan Farm looks like. And you're seeing it in all of its glory. It is everything you've seen in the other bedrooms and more. Taken to the extremes, so beautifully done. I cannot get enough of this flooring and the cast concrete ceilings. But take a look at the bathroom behind me and please enjoy just how much space is within this master bedroom. But let's talk about this bathroom first. Now, the bathroom has got this incredibly large pebble bath, free standing faucets running your bathtub. Can you imagine sitting in there and enjoying the views outside? Then we've got a double vanity, plenty of undercount storage, and take a look at just how large that mirror is. Both your toilet as well as your walk-in shower sectioned off with glass. But what else makes this bedroom so different? And that is the walk-in closet. It is extra large with extra space for all of the stuff you're gonna accumulate living right over here. And when you're done with your walk-in closet and you want a little bit of privacy, take a look at just how cool this sliding door is. And here we are in your beautiful patio on the upstairs area. Plenty of patio space leading just outside to where your carport and your double garage is. There's also plans if you do want to extend your garage into a four car garage, the plans have already been approved as well as for a maid's quarter. So if you want that, it's all done. But take a look at this. I'd say this is probably the most beautiful pool we've ever featured on the Home Shopper Show. Room flow pool, so the water cascades right off the edge, clear as day and it's in the sun. How? Nice is this. And that 
is all we have for you today at the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love, and I'm sure you do, this 14.9 million rand properties, four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, beautiful Japanese inspired 270 degree views from every single room, what I want you to do is contact Alex at England Focus Broadacres and schedule a viewing today. So from myself, Chad Viveros, from the team at Private Property and from this beautiful sunset, thank you very much and goodbye.